Most women want everything, but they want men to accept anything. It's all about what they want, how they want and what they envision, their childhood dreams of a marriage and how they want the man to do this and that. And why? Why so many demands? What about what he want? What about what the Bible say? And if a man do all those things, then what? That makes him a good man because he does everything that you think he should do or what the TV say he should do? Other than the basics, pr provide the, ne the, the, the human necessities, uh, not necessarily provide a life of luxury. When some people hear the word provide, they think of a life of luxury. But when people lived in villages and stuff, men provide, but it's not mansions and stuff like that, unless it's an amazing tree mansion or something like that. But they provide the basic needs, food, shelter, but not a life of Luxury. When they say provide, they mean provide a superficial lifestyle. It's to be continued with some people. It's not just the basics. It's always something extra. So I'm here to let you know. Most women, they want it their way nowadays. I believe it's the devil making them that controlling. There's controlling men. There's controlling men and women, people in general. But most of my clients, by the dozens, are telling me that they're dealing with controlling wives. They, they showed me pictures and videos and audios of people telling them that she's, she don't really care about you. She just want to control you. They know it themselves. They was just in denial. They thinking that all women like this. All women are like this. All women don't want to control you. Is it a large amount? Extremely large amount. But all of them are not like this. You good men out there have to be careful <clears throat> what women you choose. Because you are worth so much more than the average woman. Even though she has a nice body nice face a lot of hits on instagram you are worth more than that you got to keep that in mind keep that in mind just because she coming at you bringing that sex appeal she bringing all that stuff to you that don't mean you have to fall into it. I know you're a man and you got to start your own and you've been focused and you want to take that thing in and beat it like a woodpecker. But everything we do has an after. And that aftermath may not be what you want. So you got to understand, be careful who you're dealing with. Because a lot of women look great. They look good, smell good. They act nice when they want something. You know, they know how to act like nice and sweet and lovey-dovey and cuddly. But the moment you tell them no, let's see how lovey-dovey they be. Most of them won't be so, so lovey-dovey. They won't be so receptive in the bed. They won't be so easygoing, smiley faces. And you could be telling them no for a good reason. The question is, uh, do they really care what the reason is for you saying no? Or are they more concerned with the no than the reason? That's something you have to ask yourself. You know who you're dealing with better than us. But what we do know is there's a large amount, that there's a large amount there's a large amount of, of women like this. You got to stay prayed up. Ask God to send you a woman. Send you a virtuous woman. It may take some time. At least he can send you a unicorn. A unicorn is, is, a, is, a, rare, is a rare type of breed woman as well. It might not be virtuous. It you know, may not be as close to God as... But some women can become... Unicorns can become virtuous. 
Some women are just naturally virtuous. They just really into God, they in tune with God, and they treat you very, very well. Unicorn women will appreciate you as well. They're different. They'll let you be yourself allow you to express yourself. You don't have to always keep your masculine frame and, you know, they let you be yourself. They're not gonna take advantage of you. None of that type of stuff. You'll get a peace of mind. Imagine being around a woman that give you a peace of mind, not trying to test you, not trying to see you get mad. She actually really care. I'm Alan Rainier, much love to you. If you're getting anything out of the channel, make a donation to the Cash App in the description box. Give a shout out to Brother Azim, he's been donating every day. And give a shout out to everybody else that's been donating to the page. Much love to you. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell and the like and the subscribe button so you can be notified when I'm doing a live video. And you can chime in, okay? Follow my Instagram, and there you can do a consultation with me. Let me know how much time you want on my Instagram DM. So follow me on Instagram by now. All you guys should be following me on Instagram. It's Alan Ringing and Show. The link is in the description box as well. But it's Alan.